Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and I'm going to teach you a simple method to multiply two digit numbers. In this video, I'm going to break down some simple steps on to multiplying these two digit numbers. We're going to practice them together, and then we're also going to go on how these skills can be applied in real life. By the end of this video, I am confident that you will be confident enough to multiply two digit numbers without a calculator. So if you're ready, let's get started. When we multiply, we're finding the total repeated groups. In this case, 23 times 17 is 23 groups of 17. Now we can break down each number into its parts, its tens and ones. This makes the multiplication easier and the process more straightforward. Now let's work through this multiplication. 23 times 17. Let's break this down. We have 23 here as a group times our 17. Let's break down each number to its tens and ones place. 23 is 20 plus a 3, 20 being the tens place and 3 being the ones place. We can do the same thing with 17. 17 has a 10 in the tens place here. And then we're adding a 7 in the ones place. Now let's multiply our tens place together. We have 20 times a 10, which is a 200. Now let's multiply the 20 times the 7 the tens place by the ones place over here. So we have 20 times a seven, and that gives us a 140. We're gonna do the same thing here with this tens place by this ones place, so 10 times three. So 10 times a three, which gives us a 30. And lastly, we're gonna take the ones place and multiply them together, three times the seven. So we have three times a seven, which is a 21. I now want to add all of these numbers up. We take 200 plus 140 plus 30 plus 21. When we add all of these numbers up, 0, 0, 0, 1 is a 1, 0, 4, 3, 2 is a 9, and 2 and a 1 make a 3. And so 23 times 17 is a 390. One. Now let's try 34 times 12. I want you to pause this video and apply the same method we just learned and multiply 34 times 12. Take a moment and then we will go through the steps here. All right, let's go try it now. 34 times 12. We need to break this down in groups. We have 34 here. We're going to break it down to the tens and ones and multiply it here. The 12, the same idea, the tens and the ones. 34 has a 30 for the tens and a 4 for the ones. 12 here has a 10 for the tens place and a 2 for the ones. Now let's multiply the tens place together. We have 30 times a 10, and 30 times 10 is a 300. Let's multiply 30 times a 2, that one's there, so 30 times a 2, which is a 60. We're going to take the 10 times the 4, or 4 times 10 there, 10 times the 4, the 10's place times the 1's place, which is a 40. And lastly, we multiply the 1's place, and that's the 4 times a 2, which is and eight. Now we can add up all of these numbers here to get our answer. Zero plus zero plus zero plus eight is an eight. Zero plus six plus four is a 10. So we have zero carry the one. And one plus three is a four. And so 34 times 12 is a 408. Is that the answer you got? Did you follow the same method here? Did it work? If so, way to go. If not, you can pause this video rewind back and rewatch to make sure, see where your steps lined up with mine. Now let's multiply two digit numbers with a real world example. Let's say you're organizing an event and need 18 packs of party favors, each costing $23. Using the same method, find the total cost of purchasing the party favors. All right, what are the key parts here? We have 18 
packs of party favors and each one cost $23. So to find the total cost of the party favors, we're going to multiply this 18 by a 23. And that will give us that total cost that we're looking for. So I want you to pause this video and apply the method that we just learned and multiplying 18 times 23. And then when you're ready, we'll go through the steps and see if they line up with your answer. All right, now let's go multiply this 18 by 23 with grouping. So we want to break down each one of these numbers by our tens part and our ones part. So if you remember from before, we break this apart, multiply it out, and just setting it up here. 18, the tens part is just going to be the 10, and the ones part here is the 8. Same thing with 23. 23, breaking it down, the tens part is going to be 20, and the ones part is going to be a 3. Now, let's go multiply the tens together. 10 times a 20 is a 200. 10 times a 3 is a 30. 20 times the 8 here, 20 times the 8, is a 160. And lastly, the 8 times the 3 here, 8 times a 3, is equal to a 24. We now want to add up our numbers that we found. 0, 0, 0, 4 is a 4. 0 plus 3 is 3. Plus 6 is a 9. Plus 2 is 11. We have 1 carry the 1. And 1 plus 2 plus 1 is a 4. And so 18 times 23 is a 414. So in the context of this problem, the total cost of purchasing the party favors is a $414. Now you've learned how to multiply two digit numbers by grouping, let's learn a bonus trick. This method is using lines. We have 13 times 24. 13, I'm gonna take one line right here for the tens place, and then I'm gonna give it a space here diagonally and have three for the ones place. One, two, three. I'm now gonna do the same thing with a 24. Tens place is a two, one, two, and then a four here in the ones place, one, two, three, four, okay? Now I wanna group this. We're gonna see this right section here, like that, and the left section, like this. Let's count some dots here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got a twelve right here. In the middle, we have between these two arcs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right there. And lastly, on the left, we have one, two, the intersections of these lines. Now, let's go add them up. We have twelve here. I want to keep the two. From the 12 and then apply that one and add it to that 10. So now I have a 10 plus one, which is 11. From there, I'm gonna keep that one, put it here. The other one goes to that two. So we have two plus one, which is a three. And that three goes out front here. And there we have our answer. 13 times 24 is a 312. And you multiply that, using lines and intersections there. So hope you enjoyed this bonus trick on multiplying two digit numbers. Let's recap what we've learned. We multiplied two digit numbers by grouping. We broke down each number in the tens and ones place. Then we multiplied the parts. We multiply the tens parts by the tens, the tens by the ones, and the ones by the ones. All of those products we added together to find the sum which gave us our answer. We also applied this to the real world. We found a real world scenario where we can multiply two digit numbers together to get an answer and that how that could help us solve the total cost problem. And lastly, we learned a bonus trick here on multiplying these two digit numbers.
I hope you learned something and are now confident in multiplying two-digit numbers. Thanks for watching and happy multiplication.